Most software developers have long since discontinued support for Windows Vista. However, a very creative and talented person may have discovered a way around this, opening up many new possibilities. A member by the name of Win32 on the MSFN forums has developed a kernel extender for Windows Vista. This allows for running software intended for Windows 7. To get started, open a browser and go to the Google Drive link in the description. Click the download button in the upper right hand corner of the page. What we get is a compressed file that contains the modified system files that we will need to install the kernel extender. Decompress the files to a folder on your desktop. The location of these files is important for a later step. I have invited WinClient5270 to walk us through how to install the kernel extender. Now I'm going to give you a little overview and tutorial on how to install it. So, um, here's what you need to do. So, if you have a Vista system that you don't want to take the risk of breaking it, and uh, you know you just you have a lot of very, really important data and you just cannot afford to lose it whatsoever like it's very important don't do this method that I'm about to show you because not only could things go horribly wrong and your Vista system won't boot anymore but it requires special criteria to be met in order to work so what you need to do is make sure that your Vista system is up to date until at least April of 2017. So that's until the end of Vista support lifecycle. So you don't have to have the additional Server 2008 updates, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the uh, updates, the security updates for the server version of Vista that Microsoft released for three more years after Vista was dropped by them, uh, that you can install on Vista to give it an additional three years of security updates those are not necessary for this to work but you know it's recommended that you at least well no it's 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 important that you update until at least April 2017 because if you don't more than likely your Vista system is going to blue screen upon startup just trust me I know it sucks having to update you know getting getting Vista up to date but thankfully I made a video for that too I'll put a link to it in the description. There's a card for it um, that should be popping up right now to uh, uh, take you to a tutorial on how to get Windows Vista's uh, Windows Update to stop hanging at the checking for updates phase and uh, help you get it up to date. There's not very much work you have to do to get it to work. It's pretty easy. I know I posted it in 2017, but it still applies today. It still works. I just did it on this virtual machine here uh, just yesterday and it worked just fine so uh, anyway once you got your Vista system up to date and once you've downloaded the system files here um, here's what you can do here's what you have to do in order to um, replace Vista's system files with the extended version so one thing I forgot to mention right off the bat, you must be running 64-bit Windows Vista for this to work. 32-bit Vista, nah, -uh, not gonna work. Don't even try it. If your system type here says 32-bit operating system, do not install these. And you know the reason I say that is because this extended kernel, these are 64-bit system files. Win32 has not yet started on the 32-bit uh, or x86 version of the extended kernel at this time because he's prioritizing the 64-bit version at, at the moment because that's what most people use. So like I've said, if you're running 32-bit Vista, do not do this because it's not going to work and it will absolutely fuck up your computer beyond belief, so don't do it. And in addition to this, even if you're not going to care about, you know, if this system gets broken or not, you want to go in here and make a backup of all of these corresponding files in System32. Make a backup of all of them, search for each one, and uh, copy it from this folder to another folder. Maybe 
put a folder on your desktop and name it backups or something like that put the DLLs in that folder so that way you have them and so after you do that after you've uh, downloaded the files you want to copy all of them to your desktop just put them on the desktop because it'll make it so much easier so then what you do is you want to boot in to your Windows Vista installation media if you don't have one I have a link in the description to a Vista ISO image that you can download because this is necessary in order for this to work so you want to boot from it so I'm just going to boot into it right here and uh, so just a moment I have to wait for it to boot up here basically I'll just go ahead and explain really quick what we're going to do we're going to be replacing the DLL files from within the Vista pre-installation environment because you can't replace those DLLs while Vista is running because they're in use by the system so if it will load here so we go to next and click on repair your computer gotta wait for this message to go away so then you click next and click on open a command prompt window this link above it so then you want to CD which is you're, you're going into the uh, into a new directory so you type in CD and then you hit uh, backslash D or forward slash D yeah forward slash D and this stands for drive because this is indicating to it that you want to switch to a different drive letter and then you're gonna go to wherever Vista is installed whatever drive letter represents your installation for Vista so in this case it's C colon that's what you want to do you want to not forget the colon in most cases drive C will be where Vista is at and uh, just to double check what you can do is type in dir this stands for directory listing and then you will see all of the files within your Vista installation so then you want to CD again into your users folder and then CD into whatever your username folder is so in my case this is admin so if your if your name if your username is like John or Mary or whatever it is that's what you're going to type here instead of admin you will type like you know CD John CD Mary or Jack or Seth you know whatever your name is so I'm going to type in admin and then you want to type in CD desktop because this is where your DLL files are at remember where I told you to put them and then you're gonna hit uh, copy you're gonna type in copy copy and then an asterisk so you press shift and eight and that's your asterisk asterisk symbol dot DLL and then you're gonna type in C or you know whatever your drive letter is for Vista again Windows system 32 and when you would press enter normally it would say okay do you want to replace this file and you would hit Y and then press enter and then do that for every single one but I've already done that so it just says here the system cannot find the file specified because I've already done it and I deleted all the DLLs off of my desktop and again don't do this unless your Vista system is up to date until April 2017 and that your Vista system is 64-bit if your system does not meet both of these criteria don't do this because if you try it and it doesn't work I'm not helping you because I don't have time to be a tech support hotline I'm sorry I just don't I have a job um, outside of YouTube and that's stressful enough and it takes up enough of my time and I just don't have time to be a technical support hotline for people that want to try this and I'm sure Win32 does not either so just don't go bombarding him with oh it doesn't work I tried it and it doesn't work 
my Vista system, I, I didn't update it and it's 32 bit. It doesn't work. Why isn't it working? Because you didn't listen to what I said. So just please, for the love of God, don't don't be stupid. Don't don't replace the system files unless you know what you're doing. So after that, you want to close out of it, and then you hit restart. And when you do, you should be able to then run Firefox Quantum 68 um, or uh, Chromium 72. That's the latest version of Chromium that you can run. Huge thank you to WinClient5270. I highly recommend checking out his channel. A link will be in the description. We can now install Firefox 68 ESR, for example, to have a more capable browser. Thanks for stopping by. See you next video.